never liked Klondike Klondike mm. bars. To me, the chocolate part on the outside isn't it? It wasn't good, good chocolate. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. Hey guys, so I am back with my roommate. In this video, I'm going to be doing some dookie jumbo braids on her hair using the rubber band method. So um, I already kind of started. It was a little trial and error because it's my first time doing the rubber band method. So um. I'll hop back in later in this video to show y'all how to rubber band the hair, but I wanted to show you all the method that I use to braid the hair. So I started by looping two pieces of the synthetic hair along each other. I interlooped them and then I also pulled at the ends of the hair to kind of stretch it out so that it doesn't give me a blunt, blunt end when I get to the end of braiding each section but with the inner looped hair it gives me four sections two on each side so two of the sections stay together and it will be a part of the braid one of the sections goes with her natural hair and the other section stays by itself which gives me three sections so the four turns into three I really hope that makes sense and then obviously with the braid you have three sections so with the three sections you literally just braid it like a normal braid that was really difficult to explain and I'm sorry if I just confused you all even more but I will show it again later on in this video so sit tight and wait for the second explanation I'll try and do better the second time <laughs> but obviously right now I am just braiding that braid uh, we were going for a very jumbo braided style we didn't want them small we didn't want them large we wanted them jumbo jumbo like dookie braids for real so um here are the first three we did um, basically my practice braids to figure out how big we want to do the section and so on and the cool thing with this rubber band method too is when you lift the hair up as well you don't see the little rubber band so um it's actually a really cool method <laughs> uh, but here I am showing you guys how I rubber band the hair I start off by detangling combing out the hair in the section that I am working with and then with edge control you can use beeswax anything to get the hair to lay down flat you want to lay that around the perimeter of your little ponytailed section and that's what I'm doing right here Once I had all of my edge control laid on her hair, I just did a lot of smoothing to get that hair in that section to lay flat, just flat, extra flat so that the hairdo can come out looking very clean. Once the section was flat and to my liking, that is when I grabbed a little tiny black rubber band and just did a, basically a tiny um, ponytail. The purpose of the rubber band method is to make it easier to braid, to make it easy for those who have a hard time gripping hair. It makes that a lot easier because the rubber band is what grips the hair for you and gives you that flat surface. So I recommend the method. All right, let's go for round two of explaining this. As you can see in my hand towards the very left, both of those sections are together. They're gonna be the first part of the braid. The second part is from the other side is with her hair. And then the third part of the braid is by itself in its own section. So I'm trying really hard to show this to you all. You see the three parts? It starts as four, but it becomes three because two stay together. One goes with her hair and one stays by itself. And then you literally just braid it like it's a regular braid, as if you're just braiding somebody's hair regularly. Um, with the rubber band method, it makes it a lot easier to do this because it's a very simple braid that you're doing. Don't mind my crusty, ashy lips. 
I ain't got no man I'm trying to impress, so they're allowed to look that way. <laughs> but this is basically what I just did to the rest of her head. As you can see by the sections next to the spread, I had already sectioned them out into the rubber band method on them. I also went in and rubber band methoded the rest of her head just to get the sectioning part out of the way. And then I went in to finish actually braiding on the synthetic hair. Oh, you got your hoops on? Look at you! Yeah, girl, I had to look at the hoops on because I was about to take a picture for Snapchat. You know, I guess. So you were extra Felicia in up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. She did a good job. Hey, y'all. <laughs> <laughs>